Libra, hi, it's Lisa here from What's Her Name Tarot. I'm here to do your monthly reading for the month of May 2021. These are general readings only, so just take with you what resonates. Check your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. Any number synchronicities that may occur and cross watches are welcome. So do the Spirit Animal Oracle, the Moontology Oracle, Celtic Cross Reading, which does include reversals. All cards are clarified and I finish with the Star Temple Oracle. So if you've been watching the weeklies, I'm meant to be on my week off and um, I got a phone call Monday saying we're putting you in the mental health unit for a couple of months to work there and you start tomorrow. So um, I'm trying to come home from work. I start later so I get a couple done in the morning and I've come home later so I still get a couple done at night. You can see it's dark outside now and um, yeah, so... These will all be uploaded on Sunday, bearing in mind I'm in Australia, so for some of you it will still be Saturday. But we'll begin, so Libra, let's see what you got. So Spirit Animal, you've got number 53, Seahorse Spirit, Watch and Wait. So yeah, what are you watching and what are you waiting for? <laughs> so, Libra, so... But it's saying go with the flow okay so you know the, the tide the seahorse just I always say hover it's not hover i still can't think of the word um but it just goes with the flow it sits in the in the water and um those waves come over the top or around it and it just go with the flow but new moon in libra so your own card here with moontology a new romantic cycle begins wow go with the flow <laughs> could be a brand new romantic cycle um with somebody brand brand new maybe somebody existing and you're getting having a new chapter that's happening there so but seahorse spirit go with the flow watch and wait very well may happen <laughs> Right, so Libra, let's see what we've got here. Oops, just about, just about had a whole lot of cards on the floor, all spread out over the table. Okay, so overall, Libra, you've got the hanged one reversed. Let's tidy these up a bit so I can fit everything on the table. So you've got the hanged one reversed, okay? So upright, this is talking about a bit of indecision, sitting on the fence, not being able to make up your mind. But reversed, it is also saying you don't even want to look at what the options are overall for the month we will try and clarify that and get that up right but there may be something happening where you yeah you're just not interested at this stage okay and it might still be see your spirit watch and wait present energy you've got the sun and it is reversed again we'll try and get that up right but um feeling like things aren't where they should be so it is crossed with strength so needing strength to get the sun upright but also needing that strength to know that okay so things are happening here now for a reason watch and wait and see what this outcome is going to be in the strength area you've got the three of swords you somebody's broken your heart here possibly a third party situation this is upright could be at work could be at home could be personal but um definitely somebody's um given you you know a strength to heal a broken heart whatever this is in relation to above you you have got the ten of cups so there is emotional love and happiness here happy family life i say doesn't have to be mum dad two kids and the dog can be your partner on their own it could be um, a work colleague anything like that good friends can be family but there is love there and it is upright 
Past energies, King of Wands, you felt like you were in control of a situation or a vision or a dream that you were having to where you wanted to be, where you wanted to be heading towards. But um, your incoming energy is the full and it is reversed. So not wanting to take that risk or that leap of faith or make that final decision, just not even interested in looking at that at this stage. <coughs> we will clarify all these um, as I said. Coming up here, there's love, okay, what you need to know, two of cups, that new romantic cycle begins, because what you need to know is there is love here, somebody significant here on this journey with you, whether you know it or not. How others see you, the magists, they actually see you as manifesting and creating a way to possibly make this love a reality, make the situation start to get into gear and start happening. Hopes and fears, judgment, okay? You may be fearful of others judging you. Whatever this love situation is, maybe it's um, it may be a different race or a different sex or a different culture, you know? And I said, you may be fearful of others coming in and judging you. For others of you, um, you know, it is talking about keep an open mind. Be fair, honest and fair. Listen to both sides of the story if need be, but ultimately the last decision comes down to you. Final outcome is the High Priestess, it is reverse, so it could be dealing with a Pisces, but um, yeah, maybe like being a bit overwhelmed with everything that is going on around you at this stage. So remember Seahorse Spirit, watch and wait, um, a new romantic cycle begins, that's your card, New Moon and Libra, and we will try and clarify these and um, get some of these reversals upright and heal this broken heart that some of you may be actually going through. And that doesn't even have, as I said, it doesn't even have to pertain to love. Um, could be somebody taking credit at work. Somebody might have bought a house that you really wanted. But Libra, overall, the Hanged One reversed. You get King of Cups, the Hierophant, Ace of Swords. Could be dealing with a Taurus, but getting control of the situation, not caving into peer pressure anymore, okay? Especially when it comes around love and emotions with that King of Cups, getting control of that situation. But Ace of Swords as well, cutting the crap out that you don't need in order to start this fresh new beginning, brand new, clear, honest, open beginning. So love that. Okay, so Libra, the Sun reversed, you get the Two of Pentacles, Ace of Wands, Page of Swords. Yeah, getting control of the situation back, things are starting to get back into balance here. Possibly an apology is on the cards, whether that is from you or whether it's to you, but you're up for the challenge to get control of this situation, get this brand new beginning happening, getting balance back into the situation and getting that sun energy upright where things are moving for you awesomely. Okay, cross with the strength card, you've got the seven of swords, knight of pentacles, three of pentacles. Does take strength to walk away from some sort of deceptive um, energy that has been happening. Knight of pentacles, it's taking a lot of patience and a lot of time to finally see something through this last moving energy of the pack and it may be that that patience is required to work together and build a solid foundation um, the three of pentacles in your strength area now we have your left three of swords here eight of pentacles four of wands ace of cups yeah, don't miss an opportunity. You're very focused, very dedicated, very much trying to work on healing this broken heart that you've been through, but you don't want to miss the opportunity for this new beginning when it comes to love. Ace of Cups, new moon in Libra, new romantic cycle begins. Maybe a step up in commitment for some of you maybe a commitment that is brand new and um, that can easily heal a broken heart love that okay so above you you've got the ten of cups with the two of swords knight of swords and the fool okay so again not being able to make a clear decision um, and it's saying don't we've well, got 
you've got a kind of double-edged sword here because you've got the Knight of Swords, which talks about slow down, don't go rushing into things, don't make decisions like on, on the spur of the moment. And the other one you've got is the Fool, which is saying, take that chance, take that risk and that leap of faith, jump in two feet and all and go for it. So um, that will pertain to your story however it does. But at the same time with the Two of Swords, making sure that the, um, things are clear in order to make whatever decision you're making there. Past energies, King of Wands, you've got the Moon, Queen of Wands, Queen of Pentacles. Love the two queens. Could be dealing with a Pisces. When things are darker and greyer, that Moon does shine a clear path for you to follow. And, um, and you're ready to follow that in the past because you've got that confidence, that determination. You knew where you wanted to be headed towards. Okay, and um, proud of your achievements and how far you've come. Working really hard to get to where you are. So you come into this full incoming energy. It is reversed. The tower, king of pentacles, seven of pentacles. Yeah, to get this success and abundance, getting control of your finance, things are starting to work and fall into place at last. Okay, but first that tower has needed to be exploded. I was going to say, I don't know if that makes sense. Has needed to release the energy that you don't need anymore in order to things to start to fall back into place. That will turn that full card up right, ready to take a risk and um, build a solid new foundation. And you're putting that hard work in, so love that. Beautiful. Okay, Libra, what you need to know. There's love here. Two of Cups, Four of Swords, High Priestess, Queen of Swords. Maybe taking a different approach towards love. More direct, more honest and open and clear. But at the same time, you're also not wanting to open the floodgates be overwhelmed by things you're not wanting to let your guard down too much just yet but um as well doing some work on yourself doing some self-healing everybody does that everybody needs to do that and it's a big step just to say um, i need some me time here but um ultimately queen of swords it's almost like she's like look here <laughs> it's like the way she's got her hand here this is how it's gonna be and um yeah clarifying to a cup's love so might be starting to stand up for your own beliefs there too how others see you the magus so libra seven of cups death card and the hermit could be dealing with a scorpio or virgo but there's choices there's options okay you're watching and waiting look at each option carefully while you're watching and waiting and see what works for you. You have got the death card, love that card because it is letting go of everything that you don't need and riding forward into this brand new chapter and there's light at the end of that tunnel, the way they're facing each other there. You're riding in and following that light at the end of that tunnel there, so beautiful, that's awesome. Okay, hopes and fears, judgments. Got the nine of cups, the knight of wands, the five of swords. Again, there's love and um, emotional happiness here right in front of you. It may have been quite a rocky ride to get to where you're going, but you've got that confidence and stability to stay on board and see things through. Maybe staying and fighting for something or someone, maybe walking away. It's not serving you anymore, but either way, there's a victory there. And um, even though it's been a rocky ride, you can come out with that victory there with that battle card. And your final outcome, you've got the High Priestess reversed, Temperance, Nine of Wands, Nine of Swords. Yeah, keeping that momentum going, not overindulging in things, doing things in moderation, but could be dealing with a Sagittarius, but it's um, really hard because you have all these hurdles and obstacles that you seem to just have to continuously overcome. And it does cause um, a lot of stress and anxiety, overthinking of things, keeping you awake at night. You know, those cogs are going round and round in your head and that temperance card is saying you know keep the movement going um, that movement doesn't have to be round and round it can actually be flowing through and um, get you out onto that solid ground with that nine of wands and see where you're heading to now having a clear path forward so we'll see what the universe has to say 
that flew out there, so we'll take that. But it's King of Pentacles reversed. Nine of Wands again, which we had up there now. Five of Pentacles reversed. And I love that that's reversed there. Because you have the sense of feeling like the success is not happening. It's not coming in towards you here. Because again, you're overcoming all these hurdles and obstacles to get to solid ground. Seeing where to go to next. But I love Five of Pentacles. It is reversed. Because upright, it is a feeling of being left out, um, isolated and blocked out in the cold but reversed something's obtainable you're finally reaching some sort of goal there watching and waiting may have paid off now with that card there maybe around a new romantic cycle that is beginning for some of you there so love that outcome libra and we will finish with the star temple oracle Keep going like that trying to read it and it's like no you just have to turn the card up the right way and you get number 24 the little star divine my inner child is whole and complete love that beautiful it is like yes go back to childlike thinking almost to a level you know don't be so don't be so stressed out about things especially if the things that are out of your control there and it's like, and go back to this energy here of, um, yeah, to allow yourself to be whole and complete. So Libra, that is what I have for you for the month. I do hope it helped. If you click that like and subscribe button down there. And thanks for watching. And I'll see you next week for the weeklies. See ya. Bye.